everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tamika and today I'm going to share with you my plans for April. All right, April is shaping up to be quite an exciting month in my sewing room. I have got a few pretty big plans this month, so we'll see how we go. Um, to start with, I do have quite a few projects that I want to finish so that I've either started sewing and haven't quite finished or that are cut and ready to go and just need to be whipped through the sewing machine. Um, not all of them, my UFO pile is quite extensive at the moment and rather embarrassing to be honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, these ones are things that I've started making this year. Um, so I've got the singlet that I spoke about in my previous plans video, little cami top. Um, I've got my morning side shirt, which I think I'm making a dress. I've cut out the dress. <laughs> so I've cut out the dress and I can always shorten it to the shirt if I want to. I've also got my Ali sweatshirt that I've just got to get that neckband on and then we'll, it'll be posted all over on Minerva and on my Instagram page. Um, so if you want to check those out, you can follow me on both of those platforms. Um, while I'm at it, you can like this video, subscribe down below, turn on the bell notifications to know when I post. Um, I do have a few new projects coming up this month as well. One major one, actually there's two pretty big projects coming up. Um, aside from those, I'm gonna start simple. I wanna make another version of the Shamika dress that I made back in February. Um, I was a pattern tester for that pattern, but Tari did a really cool uh, like two-piece set. So she's cut the midi dress, basically not in half, higher than halfway, but cut that into like a cropped top and like the midi skirt. So I have got that one cut out already. So this is a fabric that I picked up from East Coast Fabrics a long time ago now. I don't think it will be there anymore. I picked it up last year sometime. Um, I tend to do that. I buy fabrics and then they sit in my stash for a while with a plan. Um, this one obviously didn't, but um, I just, it takes me a while to get to them. Anyway, this is, I think it's, I want to say it's a 10 cell blend of some description because I remember being super excited about it when I found it, um, because I'm a big fan of 10 cell. I don't know what else is in it, but basically it's a dark cobalty royally blue. Um, that's got a slight sheen to it uh, and I love it. I think if you look really closely there's actually some like black or navy fibers in there as well as the lighter blue so it gets it it just it's just so pretty. It looks brighter on screen I think than it is in real life um, but yeah super pretty color um, and yeah I've cut out my Shamika two-piece set and just need to get it going. Uh, I love this, I love it. I think this one, this one will be a bit more of a dressy version of the Shamika dress. Uh, if you know I've made this one in the past and I made it in a light pink knit fabric. So that one's definitely a bit more casual. I have also got some extra fabric of that so that I can finally make the waist tie. So, that's also on the plans. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that one. Next up is one that is on my Make 9, uh, but it's actually a different fabric than I thought I was gonna make it with. Uh, so it's this fabric here that I picked up from Minerva as part of their brand ambassador program. Um, my Minerva profile is always linked down in the description if you wanna go and follow me over there. Uh, but this is think a linen cotton blend I will have to double check there I once again don't have notes but anyway here we are um, I think it's a pinstripe I don't know if you can see it on the camera it's like a pinstripe uh, with your like beigey linen and a really fine white stripe through it um, I have a whole lot of fabric of this one because I plan on making a quite full dress um, so 
my inspiration is the Shona Joy tuxedo dress. I've talked about it many times before because I desperately want to make it, but haven't yet. This month is it. Um, so I'm going to be using this pattern here is Simplicity 8414 from Cynthia Riley uh, and is one that I've made before and love it. Like I wear it heaps. Uh, it's pretty much this one in the picture that I've made without the ruffle on the bottom, but I'm going to use this one because it has the pin tuck detail at the top front there. Uh, and similar sort of neckline and everything. Basically what I'm going to do with this pattern is use that whole top section, cut it off at kind of the waist or like slightly high waist, and then add a really full two tiered short skirt, make the sleeves like really full puff sleeves and Bob's your uncle. It's my Shona Joy dress. <laughs> Um, so that's the plan. We will see how easily that comes when we start making it. Fabric is pre-washed, ready to go. I'm hoping to do a sew along for this one. Um, again, we'll see how we go. I often seem to pick like the more intricate sort of makes for a sew along and get part way through and I'm just over the whole process of having to film and make and get everything working all together so um i'm determined this time so you get some interesting uh little details and things i hope with that one including the ways that i'm changing the pattern um but yeah very much looking forward to that and my last project for the month is quite a big undertaking i think um it is a dress for myself but my Friends are getting married in early May and they're having a formal wedding reception. So I am making a formal dress for myself um, and it's a little bit nerve wracking at this point in time. I don't have a lot to show you because I don't have a pattern and I don't have my fabric. I have ordered some fabric so I'm hoping when it arrives it is what I want it to be. Um, and if not, then I hope it's close enough. <laughs> I think I ended up ordering a crepe de chine. I could be wrong. I'll put a picture of it here. Um, I think I got it off Etsy. Oh my goodness. I was looking everywhere for fabric, so I don't even remember what I ordered. I got to the point where I just had to get something. Um, I think I got it off Etsy. I think it's a crepe de chine. I th think the listing was for a silk but for the price, I'm not convinced that that's what I'm going to get. We'll see. <laughs> um, basically, I wanted uh, like a dark teal sort of color and was finding it really difficult to find something like that. I also didn't know for sure what sort of fabric I wanted to make it from um, because I'm not super familiar with those more formal sort of fabrics. Uh, so I've gone with the crepe de chine because I think a satin back crepe or chamoose, I think that's the same thing. Um, I think that'll be just a little bit too heavy for what I want and maybe a bit too shiny. Um, whereas a crepe de chine, I think might have a slightly duller shine, which is more what I'm after. And I want it to be really like super drapey and soft and floaty. Um, I did look into like sand wash satins and things, but they were far too light um, in weight. Um, and I just haven't been able to find the color anywhere for any of them anyway. <laughs> so I ended up getting this one. Um, I don't know what color it's going to come out as because I think it's listed as like a dark blue or dark blue green or something along those lines. But they also have a navy. navy they also have a navy fabric on their website and it is more leaning towards that teal tone. I don't know. I don't know what's going to show up and hopefully it shows up in time. But anyway, um, that will be a drama for another day. Uh, we'll see. Now, the style of dress that I want is quite a free falling one. Uh, not fitted, but fairly figure hugging kind of draping over the curves, so probably something bias, 
or with a few seams to really kind of get that shape um, through the kind of waist and hip sort of area and then flow like from the floor, flow from there to the floor. I do have a pattern that I'm going to toile before my fabric arrives to see if it is the sort of style that I want. I don't actually know if this is bias or anything. I haven't even opened it. I just went through my fabric stash. Um, so this is a vintage pattern from 1976 and is for like a maxi style dress that they've got some like layers and things going on, but I just want to see what this silhouette looks like. Um, I haven't told you about the rest of the dress. I'm all over the place here because I'm just like not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> um, the top of the dress, I want it to have some sort of kind of twist, twist or knot sort of detail at the neck um, that will be kind of like a halter neck, but I don't want it to actually tie at the back. Right now I'm thinking something that uh, connects at the back, but then has two more straps on the back um, with quite an open back. How many times can I say back? <laughs> so I haven't found any patterns with that as part of the, <laughs> part of their pattern. So if you know of any, let me know. Um, that will help me out a lot. But I have seen a couple of videos on how to draft something similar. So I've got a few weeks until my fabric arrives and I need to be making it. So Hopefully I can work out what I'm doing before then. Um, I definitely want to twile it before just jumping in with my fashion fabric when I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm sorry that I can't be more specific with that one and I wish I had more to show you, but that one is probably my most stressful make this month. If you've made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for joining me. Um, that's a little insight into what I plan to make this month. If you have any pattern suggestions or anything, uh, let me know down in the comments. I would appreciate the help. <laughs> it is actually also my husband's birthday early in May. So I'm thinking that I want to make him something. I don't know if I'm going to have the time. So it might be a promise for something in the future. But if you have any suggestions for things that I could make him or that you've made your loved ones and that they've really loved, let me know those as well. Um, because I'm a bit brain overload at the moment with all of my other projects and I can't even stop to think about it too much. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here. <laughs> um, I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye. Too many, way too much looking in the mirror. That was going so well. But basically this one is a really beautiful crinkly mess at the moment. It's got really, just dropping everything here. There's a mosquito, hold on. Come back. Um, but it's this fabric here that I picked up from Minerva as part of their brand ambassador program. Ignore all of the threads that I clearly didn't like overlock my hem before I washed it. Now there's a fly over here too. Uh, but this one is a linen cotton blend. Let me check that. My laptop's not out here. More information please. Uh.